Welcome to this short training video on how to reconcile a bank account in NetSuite. This video is presented to you by Business Solution Partners. Today I'll show you how to access the bank reconciliation entry form, how to enter the statement, date, and balance. We'll go over how to mark deposits and payments as cleared based on the bank statement transactions. I'll show you how to resolve reconciliation differences and how to access reconciliation reports once this has been completed. Before you begin the reconciliation for any given month, make sure the prior month reconciliation was properly completed. Then go to Financial, Banking, Reconcile Bank Statement. And here you can select the account you want to reconcile. I have a few choices here, but I want to reconcile the 1004 payroll account. The account is already associated with one subsidiary, and it has only one currency. The statement date that I want to reconcile is June 2017. And under start date, I'm going to leave this blank so that the system gives me all the transactions that remain outstanding for this account. My ending statement balance should be taken from my bank statement, and that is 122.358.60. Now I'm going to start selecting the transactions that I see on my bank statement. There is a deposits tab that shows you the deposits that were re recorded in NetSuite prior to the end of the month. If I see this in my bank statement, I will check them off here. And both of my deposits cleared as of the end of the month. I have the choice of saying mark all or individually selecting the items that I see in my bank statement. Then I'll move over to my checks and payments. And these are the payments and other cash disbursements that were recorded in NetSuite during the month. I see that 80,000 came through. I also see that my 22,000 and my 50,000 clear my bank. If any of these transactions had not cleared, I will leave them as uh, unchecked and the bank statements or the bank reconciliation will show them as outstanding in my reconciliation report. I have checked everything that came through as deposits and checks and payments, but I still have a difference of $30. And I noticed that on the bank statement, there is a bank charge of $30, which was not recorded in NetSuite. And this will happen from time to time where there is a direct debit in the account or a bank charge that didn't make it to NetSuite by the end of the month. That depends on how you process your transactions in NetSuite, whether you do this daily, whether you have any automated feeds, whether you have segregation of duties and someone, the person that's in charge of recording transactions missed something. So this, is, this can happen. And if that does happen, at this point, you can select complete later and either go and record this transaction as a journal entry or other type of transactions depending on the nature of it, or asking the person responsible for this to record the transaction. But sometimes the team member reconciling the bank account can adjust this during the reconciliation process, and that's what I'm going to do now. So since I know this $30 is a bank charge, I will go to my new charges tab, and I'm going to create an adjustment for this $30. The date of this charge per the bank statement was June 30th. And the memo I'm going to use is wire transfer fee because that's what this was. The amount is $30. And the account I want this to go to is my bank service charges account. Then I'm going to select add. And you can see that my $30 difference disappeared. Now my reconciliation is ready 
to be saved. And I'll go ahead and do that now. And I have a confirmation that my reconciliation was processed. To access the Bev reconciliation report, go to reports, banking and budgeting, and select reconciliation. And this will bring you to the last reconciliation you worked on. However, you can select in the drop-down for account other reconciliations or other accounts you want to review. And under this payment date, you can click on the drop-down to see other reconciliations that were prepared in previous months. So the next time you go to reconcile, let's say uh, July, you can come back here and review the June reconciliation and you can see that the statement balance for June was 122358 and 60 cents and that, that was the reconciled balance and that there were no differences and not outstanding items. And then you can begin the July reconciliation the same way I showed you at the beginning of the video. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about any of the features described in the video or need training or support with NetSuite managers or transactions, please contact Business Solution Partners at the email or phone number on the screen. Business Solution Partners is a NetSuite partner and a management and consulting firm specializing in cloud-based system implementations. Their staff members and management team include CPAs, and certified solution developers with over 25 years of experience in accounting and system implementation. Visit us at bsbny.com or follow us on Twitter and other social media.